welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai Jay and we are locked in. Today we want to know in Power Book 4, what is Jannard's plan with going to Gary, Indiana with Buddy out there being Marshall's cousin? Now we know that Marshall and D-Mac, they got into it with each other because he basically X D-Mac out because he thought he was too soft. But now Jannard is doing what he originally planned with Elijah before he lost his soul, R.I.P in a little shootout with the Serbs. So before we break this down, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button, it's the easiest thing you can do. Now, what we're seeing here is them trying to branch out and do their own thing outside of CBI. We know Diamond is trying to stay solid with what they have in the Serb pipeline, but I'm gonna break down what I think is gonna happen with Jannard partnering up with Buddy out there in Gary, Indiana. Now, the first time we hear about this plan is when D-Mac and Marshall, they come into the barbershop. We just met Blackson and he came back. And what he's doing is really replacing Elijah as Jannard's right-hand man when it comes to the moves that he's going to make within the CBI. Now, we know that there's some young boys. D-Mac, of course, who's JP's son, Tommy's nephew. Him and Marshall, they have a cousin. Well, it's Marshall's cousin, Buddy, up in Gary, Indiana. And what they want to do is start to make their name within CBI. So they want to be able to branch out and be the courier, meaning they want to handle any of the drugs, take it to Gary, Indiana, and give it to Buddy. This way they can make them a little bit of money, you know, maybe like 5% off of whatever they're selling it for. But also this works out for the company because if they get arrested being minors and having drug offenses, you know, your foul will be sealed until you're 18. And then after that, you might be a minor. You might serve a year in the juvenile detention center, but you're not going to do hard time like an adult would. Now, Diamond, he hears this and he's already thinking, nah, we don't need to do that. We just got the serve pipeline. And I keep telling you guys, don't put more on your plate than what you can handle. Mama tells you when you go in there, get you a little bit. If you want seconds, come on back. Now, with them potentially being in the middle of a war with the Serbs, even though they aren't the ones that are the face of it, they know that it was probably Tommy that did it. Diamond just wants to make sure that we are okay. You remember, Jannard is the one that brought it to Diamond's attention that we need to be saving some money in case the Serbs come to us we can look like we didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, we were using you guys as pipelines, but here goes some money. So it'll make it look like, hey, we just seen there was an opening and we filled that void. Now, Diamond, he doesn't want any parts of this of expanding out to Gary, Indiana. Jannard, he wants to be that top dog. We know that he wants to run CBI with his brother, but he's seen that Tommy kind of stepped in the way, which is making Diamond fall back from it. We also seen when he was with Elijah, when he was alive, that he said that half of CBI was going to come with him. The other half is going to go with his brother. But at the end of the day, they were going to be together and he was going to be the top dog. So he hears this opportunity. And the first thing Jannard is thinking, if my brother doesn't want anything to do with it, then we need to take this opportunity because I've been running this organization while my brother was locked up on top of that. We know that he's been telling DMAC, here's $5,000, follow Tommy around. So I'm going to do a video on DMAC and what I think is going to go on with him. But this is the moment where Jannard, he hears everything that's going on. They're asking Marshall about his cousin, Buddy. Now, Buddy, they said he got messed up in basic training. He got PTSD. His head's all out of whack. You got to think about it like this. You got two 16-year-olds coming to you talking about moving drugs across the line. You don't know who this cousin is. This could easily be a setup. But Diamond, he's willing to take that risk if this means putting him ahead of the game. And you know Blackson is going to be the one that's going to be with him. You know, hey, we should do this. You shouldn't do this. But ultimately, it comes down to Jannard and what he wants to do. And that's why he says Diamond won't even know about this. We go out to Gary. We meet this guy, Buddy. We start putting drugs out there. And once my brother sees all this money we're bringing in, he'll be on board. So Jannard, he's one track minded. Once he has a vision in his head of what he wants to do, that's what he's doing. No matter what, we're going to make it happen one way or nothing. So don't worry about Diamond. I'll handle this. He drives to Gary with our boy Marshall and our boy Blackston. They get out here and we finally get to meet this buddy character who's supposed to be holding down in Gary. Now, Gary is like a little hub. You go from Chicago and then once you get it to Gary, all of the other Northeastern places, states and cities, 
this is where Gary is going to do it. Now, he doesn't give him money at first. He gives him a couple of bricks and lets him know, hey, next time we come out here, let's make something happen. It shouldn't be all this extra talking. We just come. We exchange the money for the drugs. Now, Buddy has a messed up eye. And these two, they both want to show that they on top of their game. So they clash a little bit. But at the end, business is handled. So this means Gary is wide open. CBI, this isn't a CBI thing. This is a Gennard thing. We got to keep it on the hush because we don't want Diamond finding out about this, especially after he told him not to expand. So I want to see how this goes. We know Marshall kicked D-Mac out of it because he said that D-Mac was too weak. We know that Marshall's going to want to come to this. Now, he could get in his feelings. It could be something that comes up between Buddy and Jannar, especially dealing with the money or how Marshall feels about it. We're going to see. But as of right now, we do have a connect. We do have a place that Jannar can drop it off and he can make some money. Pause. But we're going to see if this plays out because you already know in power, nothing ever goes as smooth as it's supposed to. There's going to be some kind of friction somewhere. Maybe there's one missed payment. Maybe there's not enough drugs to go around. But something I feel is going to pop off between these two. And that's not even the end of it. Jannar went to the strip club and he got a taste of Dahlia. So now he has his brother trying to figure out Who's behind this new drug? And the crazy thing is, Jannard wants Tommy dead, but Tommy is the guy behind Dahlia. Now, Diamond is asking Tommy because he knows Tommy knows a little bit of something about these streets, and he's not just here sticking around. So this could end all bad for Tommy, especially if Jannard finds out that Tommy has something to do with this. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm predicting since he wants D-Mac to try to get Tommy, he also needs to keep this connection with Buddy going. We could have a mini war inside of the huge war with the Serbs. All right, let me know what you guys think about the whole Jannar thing. Do you think this was a good move for him to branch out to Gary, Indiana with Buddy and start to move a little bit of bricks, even though his brother said not to do it? Now, you already know how I am. I know this is power. I know we're getting into the later episodes. So there's going to be a lot of action. There's going to be some friction. So I definitely don't think it's good. But let me know what you think about the move of Jannar linking up with Buddy through Marshall. I'm Old IJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.